Hey, it's Bo the Mechanic. I'm gonna shoot another little video here. I uh, looked around and I couldn't find any videos on garbage trucks and how they work, so I'm gonna show you guys a rundown on what garbage trucks look like on the inside, what they look like on the back, how the hydraulics work, all that great exciting stuff. So, bam, there you go. This is an older International. It's a 95 International 4600, I think. Let's look and see. I think it's a 4600. 4700. International 4700. This is the inside of a beautiful garbage truck. Yeah, see the seats, nice. It's really nice, it's destroyed. There's your emergency brake. If you guys have never seen a heavy truck before, emergency brake, lights. This thing's got 20,000 hours. This thing's been running for 20,000 hours. I mean, it, these things run a lot. They run every day, all day long. Six speed transmission with a low gear. This right here is your PTO. What that does is it kicks in your hydraulics. These things have diesel engines and a transmission and the PTO is bolted to your transmission. So when you engage this, you pull in the clutch and pull this lever out, it engages that PTO and starts spinning, which turns an electric or a hydraulic pump. And the hydraulic pump actually moves all the stuff in the back, the compactor, the cart tipper, all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, it's got a backup camera. Basically a local recycling company bought this truck and they wanted me to run through it and make sure it works pretty good so they can get it out on the road and not have any issues with it. These right here run across. This runs your compactor which actually slides. That's your compactor. This big old bar right here is your compactor. It slides this whole unit that way, smashing the trash. You can see back here is your hydraulic valves, your tank. And basically that's what it does. One of these valves slides the compactor this way and the other valve actually opens this entire back of the trash truck. This whole back of the trash truck will come off right there. That whole thing will lift up in the air. Your trash is stuck up underneath there. And uh, when you get to the place, the recycling center or the trash, trash yard, it'll just dump out. Pretty cool. I always liked them, you know. I guess I'm a nerd. I always liked hydraulics. I've always liked hydraulics. I've always liked trash trash trucks. Even when I was a little kid, I always wanted my mom to stop and look at them. So this is the back. This is the hopper. All your trash would get chucked in here, you know, by this cart tipper right here, which is stuck in the up position. The cylinder's been leaking for a while, so I'm gonna have to repack that, and I'll show you guys in a different video how to do that. But so this, this is a cart tipper. Grab your trash can, dump it in here. This is the way a lot of the old hydraulic garbage trucks looked. Now they've got the new ones that actually. You know, they're automated. They got rid of the garbage man. He used to stand right here on these, these platforms and, and hang out and ride. And now they don't have those guys anymore. It's kind of sad. But so this is your hopper. Dumps all your trash inside here. And when it becomes full, this valve right here, this big piece of metal will reach in here, scoop in like a blade and shove it into the back, into that big box that I showed you, the compactor side. And it just keeps on doing that. And eventually you'll fill up this box you fill up this big ass box and when you do that thing looks pretty full that's when you smush it and then you keep on adding more and more and more trash so look at the walk through here this is your car tippers hydraulics this valve right here opens and swings that back cylinder i'll turn it on and show it to you guys in just a second but this is it, man. This is a 95 International garbage truck. I'll show you. It's got a. It's got an old DT 466 in it. Uh, DT 466 is a really good engine. They use this in a bunch of stuff. Uh, a lot. This is the staple of International's heavy medium truck, medium truck engines. They uh, they put it, gosh, in dump trucks and for you know gravel and recycling trucks and you know. Little crane trucks. I mean, in all types of stuff, you'll see this engine. And this is known and regarded as like one of the toughest engines they made. You can run this thing on waste motor oil, waste vegetable oil. They're awesome for biodiesel. They and they run for a long time. Like I said, this one's got 20,000 hours on it, which is that's a long time. That's like running it every single day, all day long, for about four or five years or whatever. You guys can do the math on it. I'm going to show you guys here. That's an injection pump right here. This is a diesel injection pump. This is actually a, this is one of your intercooler, your turbo lines. It goes to your intercooler. This one goes to your turbo. Let's see, you can zoom in maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll show you it's a 466. 
Yeah, somewhere in there. There you go, 466. She was a sweet little motor. We're gonna have to replace a bunch of stuff. Like I said, the recycling company dropped it off. Radiator hose is shot. I'm gonna change all the fluids. It's got a uh, diesel. It's got a diesel leak coming from that back, way back there, that back return line. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed because it's just leaking and leaking diesel everywhere. Current gas prices don't dictate that as a good thing. But basically, let's fire this thing up and listen to see what she sounds like. Here we go, yo. Bling bling in main. Gonna hit neutral. Looks like it. Bet she runs like a sewing machine. Oh yeah. There she is, right? Back hopper would work. As you can see, I got this valve right here. And up she goes. Let's see if you guys can even see in there. right here this big ass blade is going to come down you put tons of trash inside this area right here it's going to grab down to here almost and scoop it into the truck just like this just like this she goes when you get it completely down as you can see there's not a whole lot of gap for trash to hold on to now we're going to swoop it. Cylinders go the other way. And all that trash that was in there is now getting sucked up in the back of that hopper. I'm going to hold it right there. show you guys how you roll this compactor in now. As you can see, here we are. Here we go. Now if we had trash in there, it's going to compact. See that big old cylinder? Would compact any of that trash that was back in there. Smash it into a pretty tight little ball. Like I said, I think this is about a seven or a nine cubic yard, I believe. Pretty big up in there. That's how she works. Next issue, I'm gonna show you guys how this thing opens up. It's kind of scary. up in the air. All held by hydraulics. Pretty strong, huh? So you should probably give these guys a break when you're driving and you want to pull right in front of them because they got a whole lot of metal cruising down the road. Now I'm going to go ahead and boom this thing down. Come out. 
And we're done. Now I just gotta pick up all the trash. Sucks for me.